So I was on my way to go put up the new uh, sector antenna and I thought I'd make a video of it real quick because uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm going uh, full RFE. <laughs> this has to be assembled. So it's actually kind of cool. Check this out. The top and the sides are all labeled. So you can do, I don't know what this little, there's like a little trapdoor thing on here. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to mess with that in a second because they all, they all jingle. <laughs> there's markings on the top and on the sides. So you can apparently mount this uh, multiple ways with a 30 degree uh, sector antenna if you mount it on the pole like this where this is the top or you can do like this where this is the top and you get 20 degree so that's pretty cool actually it's a versatile little thing yeah you can see what's in it nothing <laughs> It's kind of funny though, if you look through it, you can see AH30 radome V5 or something. Like printed kind of on the inside down here. <laughs> Why my damn camera isn't focusing? Focus you fuck. And yeah, I'm wearing the same shirt as the last video. Uh, coincidence. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, you have to put these together. So the handle goes on the top. I'm gonna mount this on the left side of the pole. So it's going to go like that. Yeah. And the handle goes up on this side. Now the documentation actually shows something a little bit different, but the way this works, there's a hole right there and there's two holes right there. So it goes on like that and you just screw it on and you know, bob your auntie. And it's actually the same kind of thing on the, uh, the side mount for the bracket. But this kind of shows it a little bit different. This doesn't show the uh, hole on this side. It's a little bit of a different antenna too. A little bit of a different horn. But, I mean, if, if you can't figure this out, you really need some help. So we're going to screw this. Before I do that, I want to find out what the hell's under these little trapdoor things. Hmm, I don't know. Well, it definitely doesn't want to come out. Whatever the hell it is. Or they are. There's one on each side and they jingle. <laughs> okay. And there's a little box. And in the box is your actual, like, mounting hardware that goes on the pole and I'm having focusing issues today it's pretty hard to get out jeez this is the mount you got your bolts this goes oh no I see yeah that way so you have the pole clampy bit like that and then the uh Antenna goes up here, so it'll be sticking off the pole. Uh, let me see, like, yeah, like that. And then the antenna will be over here, which you can't see. Good job, over here. I'm actually gonna mount this on this part before I leave. I got it on there just like finger tight right now. You can see how it fits on there. Focusing issues today. Pretty, uh, pretty ingenious little like mount thing. The way it all fits together and stuff, it's not just a simple kind of thing. You actually slide this up onto this like cylindrical part right here. It's kind of hard to see now that it's put together, but that's actually pretty cool. And then you get your, you know, your side to side like that. You tighten these down and it doesn't move anymore. Sweet. And just like the uh, good old 
ultra horn I showed you in the last video, uh, this one uses the twist port adapters as well. But I forgot to show you the coolest part of this. That's where you put your GPS thing. Your GPS receiver goes up there. So birds can't like fly off with it and whatnot. All your wires and everything, plug it in, you stick it up here. That's genius. And I forgot to mention it in the last video and was publicly shamed. Rightfully so, because that's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, let's go, shall we? All right, up here on the roof, uh, first thing I gotta do is take the old sector antenna off because this is the one that I'm using and this is the one that I'm not. So this one has to come down. Oh, I didn't bring the right damn socket. See, I knew I'd forget something and probably have to go home. Luckily, I live like two seconds from here, but still, it's annoying. The way that these are clamped on here, they use super, super long bolts like that, and even my long sockets. Oh, well, it came kind of, just not with the wrench in it. <laughs> Maybe I can do it with my hands. Probably not. I don't remember how tight I did these. Uh, this is so not going to work. No. Maybe I can get a little bit of a bite on it with this. I think it probably not. No. Okay, so plan B, I'll leave these clampy bits on here and just take this part off because it's a separate piece. Hmm, yeah, about that. I still need an open socket because this won't go in there. Maybe I can turn it. Let's take this out first and see. Might be able to make this happen. It is looking like I cranked that son of a bitch down too. So, gotta run back to the house. I knew that would happen. I knew it would. <laughs> That's why you always bring more tools than you think you'll need. Always. Good lesson to learn and uh, one I apparently haven't yet. So, I shall return. A few moments later. Alrighty. Now, ready to roll. Getting these damn things off. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I crank these shits down pretty damn hard. My god. They definitely weren't gonna move. <laughs> Ever. You stay there for a minute, actually. So I can get the bottom on done. Ooh. <laughs> so technically, I think the right way to do this would be to take this part off first and then take these off, but I never do things the right way. You should know that by now. Just like that. See, it wasn't so bad, was it? All right, now. So the consideration I have to make is that this is hitting everybody with one dish or a antenna rack. I can either, well, I have to unplug both of them anyway, but I know if I unplug this, plug it into there, plug it back in and, you know, it comes back in and everyone comes back on, everyone connects and everything's fine, theoretically. But if I try to move this over and connect people, the, the majority of my people are on that side. And I was, that's why I mounted that to put over here because I wanted to try to get that side of the people with that one. But hmm, then I'd have to get into the radios and reconfigure their CPE dishes and everything to connect to the new radio and they'd be down longer, which is what I don't want. So what I'm going to do is, how far does this thing stick off? I thought this thing stuck off the side of the pole a little bit more than it did. But let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that worked pretty good, actually. I'm going to do an overlap thing. That way, I can pick and choose which CPEs I want to take off that radio and put it on the new radio from home without having to, you know, push my luck. <laughs> without risking taking them off uh, completely. Because if it overlaps, if I have both radios kind of pointed in the same spot, I can pick and choose people off of uh, that one, put it on the new one, and theoretically they should be connected to one or the other either way. 
Again, that's theoretically. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, this should go up there just fine the way that it is. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that right where it is. I actually turned it a little bit yesterday because I was going to put the new radio on that one, which was up here. But the way they were on the pole <clears throat> and how big these are, it wasn't working. So I made some phone calls, got hooked up with the, the RFE goodness. Now, I think technically, well, I am going to do this a little differently, actually, because I think theoretically, <laughs> you're supposed to mount this on the pole first. The, the part that goes on the pole is supposed to go on the pole before you put the freaking radio on it, now that I think about it. But what the hell is the little tiny screw for? So I'm going to swap that over to the other side. And uh, before I do that, I'm going to put it on the damn pole so I don't have to monkey around with it anymore. Basically, I'm going to take it all apart. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I am going to put it on the left side of the pole because it sticks out. It sticks out far enough. I can actually angle it around either side. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to stick with how I have it. It should work fine. But I did take this off to mount it first, like I'm supposed to. <laughs> I'm doing things like I'm supposed to for once. Aren't you guys proud? So... Yeah. <laughs> Make sure I don't screw this up. These bolts are super long for this kind of freaking mass that I have. I have a little tiny skinny mass compared to what this thing is built to handle. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Let me show you guys the issue that I'm running into. <laughs> so the bolts go all the way through here. So that's no big deal. You can screw them in all the way down to here. But the problem is this hits that. <laughs> so we're going to have to get a little janktastic for the moment. Um, that means wedging some random piece of metal or something in there. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> I know, you're all screaming at your monitor right now. Get a bigger mast, dummy. Well, I don't have a bigger mast, and I ain't coming back out here to do this shit, so... This is what's happening. Kaboom! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, like a glove. Oh my god. I need washers. Let me show you what it's doing now. As it goes all the way down to there. Why? Hmm. Stroke of brilliance. Are you ready? This might work very well. Maybe. When all else fails, scavenge bolts from your old antenna. <laughs> I think these are the same size. So I might be able to just use these instead. Get rid of this altogether. Took a different piece from the radio. I don't need that one or the antenna. But if this fits on there, or if the threads are the same, which looks the same, um, I'll be able to just use these and everything will be good to go. If not, I'll have to take these out and use the bolts from the old antenna, which still will work, but are you going to work for me? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Good. If I have one criticism of any uh, RFE gear so far, it's uh, these bolts. <laughs> Pretty small criticism, because you can buy bolts anywhere, or find them anywhere. Exhibit A, right? So what I did was, these are the bolts that came with it. Are you gonna focus for me? Yeah. These are the ones that came with it. You can see they're only threaded about halfway. Well, I took the bolts out of the uh, Ubiquity radio, or antenna rather. Whole lot more threads, so this should work fine. Oh, another problem. Hmm. 
So on this side, it doesn't matter if the bolt sticks through because there's nothing here. On this side, um, yeah. So, hmm. Something up here eating me alive. Son of a bitch. Fucking little bugs. Let's try it with this. This being my other piece of the other antenna. <laughs> See if that gives it the standoff that it needs. I don't really think it will, but we can find out. Yeah, there's no way that's gonna work. So, um, I have another idea. What I'm gonna do is take these out, take this apart, and these are just captive little square head nut things. They're hollow with this little plastic thing. But I noticed it's a square. The head of those bolts are squares. So I'm gonna take this apart and run the bolt through the other way. Then I'll be able to clamp down the, the other side using the nuts that I'm gonna steal from that antenna also. <laughs> that came apart super easy. Um, this spins in here, but that doesn't really, I can hold this and crank it down tight enough. I'm not too horribly worried about that. I can see these are just little hollow things with a square head on them. These have a square head too, but it's a smaller square head. So we're gonna see if we can make it happen. Whatever the hell these bugs are, they're landing on my head and like crawling through my hair. It's the weirdest feeling shit ever. Well, that's down there now. Let's see something. So this is up here like this and then this. That's fine. I didn't think about it with the uh, twist port adapter on the back. Looks like it should be okay. Nothing is as easy as it should be, ever. Ever. This is supposed to be a quick up and down, no problem. Nope. Always something, my friends. You gotta be able to think on your damn feet. <laughs> Repurposing bolts and nuts and whatnot. <sighs> Cause it's always something. Oh my God, are you ever gonna stop turning? Turning and 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 turning. Oh my God, please get tight. Thank you. There we go. That's up there now. Just like that. I do believe you are not going anywhere. Anytime soon. Might actually have to loosen it a little bit and twist it some. Let's see. Uh, the moment of truth. I definitely have to move it down. That ain't gonna happen. That's no big deal. Nothing wrong with a little fine tuning, right folks? Yeah, we're gonna make it happen, I told you. There we go, very good. So you're going to get the uh, janktastic phone video from now on because uh, I, I love my Sony camera, but screens work like shit on it. All it shows is the video output. It doesn't show you that it's recording, audio levels, no other info about the damn video, and it ran out of memory card space and I didn't know it. So missed a bunch of stuff, but um, yeah, sorry. We got it's up and running. And when I hung it up and everything before the damn video cut out was that this is a much more efficient use of space. You have, instead of a big space up here and a big space down here and the goofy shape of this, you have just this one little tiny piece and the rest of the mass of the thing sticks off the pole. So you could seriously do like half a dozen of these things on the same pole, no problem. It's a much more efficient use of space. It's very, very cool. But yeah, now comes the fun part. What? this thing is ugh, it's like a little poe splitter kind of um poe goes in which is what this is for this radio poe goes in and then there's two poe outs so what i'm going to do is unplug this plug it in here i already have two out i'll plug one in there one in the new radio up here and theoretically we should be 
good to go. Oh, I don't like that that's upside down. Another criticism for you. You should give us stickers so we can put them right side up once they're mounted. I got you, man. I got you. Yeah, I know you guys love my janktastic freaking straps. <laughs> they're still holding tight. All eight of them. <laughs> I love the view. An epic house. I love it here. It's awesome. But yeah, let's uh, put that on there and then, yeah. One second. And luckily that went off without a hitch. Uh, got power and everything going over there. Power going over here. I logged into that and con uh, configured it from my phone. UNMS app is awesome. That one came right back up. I logged into it and 15 hosts, so good to go. Getting this damn thing off was really, really hard though. So don't be afraid to use a knife or something on those after they've been outside for a while, because damn, damn you, Sony. It's so damn nice out. I don't even want to go in the house. <laughs> oh, I think I figured out what the hell this little thing is. I think this is a captive thing that keeps the, see the little nuts in there that the screws screw into? I think that just keeps them in it. It's kind of an interesting way of doing it, but yeah, I think that's what it is. So yeah, we're uh, we're all done. Got two sectors now. Um, this one is reaching out about like that, and about like that. My house is like right there, ish. And this one, it's kind of hard to tell with this. Um, about like that and like that, I think it's narrower. This is a 30 degree. This is a 60 degree. So this is a, you know, half the width of this one because math, but yeah, it's a narrower beam, um, which is actually kind of good. I actually got 60s originally because I wanted the 260 so I could do one and two and have two separate radios to, you know, space the load out as much as I could even it out. Well, come to find out those things kind of start to suck wind at 15 subs, so, um, yeah, might need to break it up a little bit more. <laughs> no big deal. This should work really well for now. Um, got some overlap, so this one I'm going to put maybe five or six people on and leave the rest on this one for now, and I might even, down the line, switch this one out completely for another one of these, just because there's so much more space efficient. <laughs> it's such a better design. It's such a better way of doing it. You could literally fit, God, if I went all the way down to here, I could probably fit damn near a dozen of those things on that same pole. They're just so much better as far as that goes. Because all you need is this much space, maybe a little bit more. So all the way down, you could fit a whole bunch of them on there. Ideally, now that I, now that I think about it, maybe I could even do like get rid of this altogether, replace it with another maybe one or two. So I have like 30, 30, and then this one going out like that way a bit more. So I have 90 degrees of coverage that way. Then I could even mount a couple a little bit lower or maybe do the, hmm, maybe do the higher ones this way. I was gonna say mount some lower and see if I could get some people out there because I'm sure I could. Um, yes, I know this needs to move. Um, hmm. I don't know. I might do that at some point. Not right now though, because I didn't think about it when I was setting all this stuff up. Surprise, surprise, right? But <laughs> all my CPEs are pointed directly at the back of the backbone antenna. <laughs> Oops. That thing gets a pretty good reception though now, as far as noise goes where it's at. Uh, and with the Ultra Dish, it's going to be perfectly fine having all the CPUs pointed at it. I don't think it'll be a big issue at all. But yeah. Time to go home. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten much today. So, for now, be sure to like, share, and sub, and all that happy noise. Bye bye <laughs>